All right, so I just made a uh, program in Visual Basic over the last couple of days. It's a GM line testing program. There's a bunch of commands uh, hard coded and built in. Uh, so what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to do a simple demonstration here. We're here in the car. We've got a little Bluetooth dongle. Um, I need to check my engine oil, but that's cool. So right now I'm connected to the Bluetooth dongle through the program. I'm running here um, through parallels on my Mac. Um, since Visual Basic is easy to use and I already know how to use it, I thought it'd be easy to do. So I got it connected and uh, sometimes it, uh, it doesn't like to work, but sometimes it does. So let's change the count on this, say to 20, and we'll bring down the delay. It sounds really funny sometimes. I haven't implemented the normal chime selection yet. That's the next thing I'm going to do right now after I record this video. So let's say if we hit this. So we've got a bunch of other stuff here. I'm going to implement that there now. Uh, I don't have the driver information stuff worked out. Uh, but we do have wheel controls. Pretty cool. You can change source. You can switch between channels. And see, I don't have wheel controls, but it still works. I got cruise, but I don't have wheel controls. And what's cool about it is, is the car came with a uh, base model radio. Uh, and the base model radio actually responds to the commands as well. Even though it shouldn't, because you can't get a base model radio with wheel controls. But yeah, you can seek up. Uh, you can seek down. Press the info button. Oddly enough, there's no info button on the wheel, but you can make it think that you pressed info. I guess it was someone's idea. You can also uh, lock the doors. It needs a little bit more debugging, I think. But uh, let's turn the radio a little bit more. Back down. We can uh, unlock all. We can lock all. You can hear it in the background. You can't see it because it's pitch black out here. There you go. How cool is that? It works. Um, what the vehicle stuff does is eventually, um, when other people figure out their commands for cars, they'll be able to select their car there and we'll have it hard coded in just for testing. Um, that's about it. I'm impressed. It actually works. I'm hoping, uh, hoping to have, release the uh, executable and some code so uh, soon, probably in the next week or so. Um, just because everyone should have a copy of this if they own a GM car and single wire can adapter.